What if any of my lipstick stayed on after that? That is just great to think about. Perfect. Welcome back, I'm Cracker Jack, and you are watching a brand new episode of Booting and Baiting, and yes, I know, I look a little bit different than your usual hostess, but she's stupid and I hate her, and I want us some time in the spotlight. Want us some time in the spotlight? Want us some time in the spotlight. I am Italian now. I did work at an Italian cafe once, and everybody thought I was Italian. I'm just Jewish. Jew-ish. Anyway, yeah, hi, welcome back to Booting and Baining, the show where I, your host, take a completely irrelevant topic and dissect it within an inch of its life in a way that it never asked for and does not deserve, but I don't feel bad about because it's for science. So yeah, you may notice that things are a little bit different today, but you know what? I was planning to film this when I wore this look to perform in, and I didn't have a chance because I was running late because I'm always running late. And so today I thought I would just kind of backtrack a little bit and get on in there. Get on up. Get on up, turn me up. Anyway, so you may be thinking what I, a CEO of a business clown, could possibly have to say about any topic ever. And um, I agree, I have no idea. There's nothing inside this little noggin of mine. So I am really just scraping the battle of I sound like the dog of wisdom. I have not had much sugar or caffeine. I'm just like this. I don't know what it is. I put on the makeup and suddenly I was like, yeah. So I agree with you. There's nothing that I have any information or knowledge of whatsoever because I got an empty little skull can here. Um, but that's okay, I'm gonna talk about something anyway, because nobody ever said that you have to know what you're talking about to talk about something. So, today I thought we would go just in line with what I was wearing, and today our topic is... Business. We are talking about business. We are talking about suits and ties and Wall Street brokers and wolves and, and, and businesses and businessmen and business women and business people and busyness. The mess of busy. So what is business? That's a genuine question, I don't know. Whenever someone says they're like a business person or a businessman or they, they work in an office, what the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Where, what do you do? What is your day filled with? Is it just filled with you punching in two numbers, a seven and an eight, and then just guessing at what you're supposed to be doing? Drinking coffee around the water cooler, which is, you know, that's weird. You need to stay hydrated. I guess, I guess if you wanna drink coffee, you can just stand by the water cooler and hydrate whatever you dehydrate, but that seems like you'd be doing that all day. So what are you doing? Business people, please comment below. I would love to know. You may be noticing that I'm displaying a lot of chest here. It's because I'm a slut. So do with that what you will. So let's go ahead and get started here because I don't know what I'm talking about. And the longer I think about it, the less of an idea I'll have. Also look at my shoes. They're my dress shoes. They're the shoes I wear with dresses. So boon number one, business is a funny word. What, you don't agree with me? You don't agree with me. Busyness. It sounds like the Loch Ness monster who's got a lot of things to do. She's a busy Ness. Busy Ness. Or Ness from, uh, oh, uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. I don't actually know what game he's from. What is it? It's like Motherboard? Mothership? Mother something? I don't remember. Motherbox? Dad Town? Oh. Nuclear Familyville. I look like I belong in Nuclear Familyville, but like the hoish. This is my. My after work look. Oh. So yeah, business is a funny word. I don't really think I need to defend that, but I will because I'm thorough. I'm a thorough fool. Business is, how many syllables is it? It's like three syllables, but it feels like four, but it's actually eight, but it's really, it just uses two of them in brief, I don't know. It's a stupid word also, I think. Uh, and you know what, that's Bane number two. Business is a stupid word. Why is it that? Why does it sound like that? That's dumb. Pick a different word. That's stupid, I don't like it. And my opinion is objective fact. So, there you go. How do they do that so well? I can't fucking do it, I don't get it. For anybody who still has questions about why there is a clown on this screen instead of the other clown that you're used to seeing on this screen with tits, this is my drag king character, Cracker Jack the crooning clown. Whereas Daisy Mays is the cartoon queen, I am in charge of clownery, she is in charge of glamour. Together we occupy two sides of the same coin. In the lore of Daisy and Jack, they are siblings. Jack is the younger one, and he is an idiot. Big little brother energy. And Daisy is the older one, like the like Debbie from the Wild Thornberry. She's the teenage daughter who's like, Mom, it's not a babe, but he's gotta do things. 
The Jack is, uh, Jack is Donnie. Is that offensive? I don't think so. He's not real. And it's not like a language. It's not supposed to be a language. It's not a parody of a language. I think it's fine, but I'm sure all of you keyboard warriors in the comments will let me know just exactly how offensive I am. Woo! Boon number two! Small businesses are pretty cool. Have you ever been into a small business? I know we all exclusively go to like Walmart and Quick Check, and well, you guys might not have Quick Check wherever you are, but you know, chains of shit, super cuts, the hot topics of the world, things that seem like they have an identity, but really just copy and paste a parody of an identity. But when you go into a small business, it's actually like somebody cared about what was in here. It actually feels like a living, breathing thing. I remember when I lived in Laramie, Wyoming, that's right, middle of bumfuck nowhere, it was great, I hated it, and I loved it all at the same time. I remember when I lived there, there was a witchy shop, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the only witchy shop in that town that I know of, so, you know, it should be pretty easy to find. And it just felt like, it felt like someone's baby, you know? There were like three people that worked there, and they were all very chill, they were all happy to be there, and they all like had a say in like what went down. Yeah, it's a college town, but like, every college town needs a little witchcraft shop, a little spell mark, spell check. Ah, eh, we'll workshop it. But yeah, small businesses are cool. Small businesses are great. And that brings me to Bane number two. Big business fucking sucks. It sucks. Why is it a thing? I don't get it. Why, why were the Walton family allowed to just waltz on into America and just take everything and destroy everything along the way. They are like literally the villain from Fern Gully. What the fuck? Why did we all just kind of let that happen? I guess because it's convenient and easy and everything is there and um, I was just at Walmart the other day so I really can't talk too much shit but uh, I also definitely did not steal from them and would never do that because that is wrong and I would never suggest that anybody do such a thing especially if they see sneakers that they really like but don't want to pay 25 bucks for. Which you may or may not see in a future look. And which I will neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Maybe I am an evil clown. Maybe I am an evil clown. Do I look like an evil clown to you? Probably. I probably do now. I'll jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, that's a little too dark, a little too grim, so let's keep it positive with boon number three. What is boon number three? It is hard to think of positive things to go with business because, eh. Look, I guess the only positive thing I can say about business that's left for boon number three is the idea of business in the sense of like the American dream, you know? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lovely idea. It's a beautiful thought. It's a wonderful theory. In practice, however, it's a little bit fucking different. <laughs> but in theory, the idea of having nothing, of escaping a, a, a land in which you no longer want to live, where there is no possibility for you to be whoever or however you want to be, and come here and make a life for yourself by building up your own individual thing from the ground up, that's so cool. I love stories about that. That's wonderful to hear, but unfortunately, the simple fact remains that nowadays they are just that. Stories. That's not the reality anymore. So Bane number three, the American dream is dead and it's all because of business. Look, the planet is dying, and I mean, I could go on and on about how business stars are behind, business stars are, stars are, stars are, stars You like my legs? Oh, underwear. Business stars are, stars are, stars are. I could go on and on about how businesses are 100% at fault for that because it's not the average Joe like like me, the average Joe the Cracker Jack that is, you know, dumping toxic waste directly into the mouths of great whales and making Mother Nature watch while you jerk off into a volcano. I don't know what you do. But the simple fact remains that it's not our fault that that is happening. It is big businesses that we can't do anything about. They don't care. They don't care about the ethics and they don't care if the world is here in 70 years when they're dead. They're not worried about their offspring or anything, mostly because nobody will fuck them. But ultimately, big business and business in general is just like such a hard thing to be positive about because there's really no, there's no way to ethically force somebody to do labor in order to stay alive. Does that make sense? If somebody chooses to till a field to feed their family, that makes sense. If somebody chooses to perform for scraps, hi, please give me your scraps, I'll include my Venmo and shit in the, in the description, uh, then that's, that's their choice. And if they starve, it's their own damn fault. 
and it'll be my own damn fault when I end up dead and hungry. Hungry and dead. Strike that, reverse it. I'm something of a magician. <laughs> I'm the Timothy Chalamet of drag, and I'm here to let everybody know it. Bonjour, it's me, Timothy Chalamet. Pretty good, right? It's pretty goddamn good. <laughs> I'm an actor. Uh, so yeah, overall, I think it's pretty safe to say that business is a bane. Overwhelmingly bane. It's a bane. Fuck that, it's a bane. I hate business. I hate doing business. I hate having business. I hate having to work for a business. I hate being obliged to a business. I hate business. And you know what? That may just be my personal opinion. But on this channel, that makes it objective fact. And if you disagree, you can leave a comment and I will delete it. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I have so much power here. <laughs> so yeah. Well, anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble. I think I have another one of these. This was fun. So I think I have another one in me, and I'd like to film it, and I'd like to make you all watch it. So Daisy will be back in you know, a week or two, give or take, depending on what I allow her to do. But don't fucking tell her that I said that, because I don't want her slashing my tires. It would not be the first time she's done it. And clown cars are difficult to find replacement tires for, okay? I still haven't financially recovered from the last time she did it, and I can't handle that again. It was too much stress. It drove my family apart. They didn't exist, but my imaginary family was very upset by it. So it'll be our little secret. And then you could just, you know, stick around here. Maybe like, share the video, leave a comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't, uh, or you could uh, also hit that nifty little notification bell so you know every time I post some new clowny plant-based content and we'll have some fun so you know do that oh that one was pretty good okay it's it's no all this Edwards but I'll take what I can get so thank you all for watching I'll see you next time Mwah. bye 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 could you imagine if I actually talked like that I'm pretty close but damn Working nine to five, what a way to make a living, barely get some five, girl, take it and give.